Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on compound interest. Uh, I'm also going to change the subject of an equation. And again, this is a, a high tier GCSE, IGCSE uh, question, and I think it should be okay uh, for 10th grade mathematics. Right, there are two questions. Now, here's the first one. Uh, the first one says uh, the formula for compound interest can be expressed as A is equal to P times r raised to the power n there and then it says make r a subject now what i'm going to do is to rearrange this now put that to the left hand side and a to the right hand side and that's what we got there and in addition i've said that p to the power one yes and r to the power n as we got there and a to the power one i've made a difference at all by putting power one for p and power one for a there I've made a difference at all to the value. So, if we then divide both sides, sorry, sorry, if we raise both sides to the power 1 over n, yes, that's to the power 1 over n. That's what we got there. Right, now if we multiply individual uh, value there by, sorry, if we then open up the bracket, so to speak, we end up with. Uh, p to the power 1 over n because 1 times 1 over n will give us p to 1 over n and if you multiply n by 1 over n the n's cancel out so you got r to the power 1 there which is as r and on this side if you multiply 1 by 1 over n you end up with 1 over n there so that's what you got there if we now divide both sides by p to the power 1 over n both sides we end up with r is equal to a to the power 1 over n divided by p to the power 1 over n. And that's the same as saying a over p all raised to the power 1 over n there. Because if you open up the brackets, you end up with a to the power 1 over n, which is this one here, divided by p to the power 1 over n, which is this one here. Okay. I think in the exam, if you left it at that, that's, that should be fine. But I think this is neater, I think. Right, uh, for part two, he says, having invested a certain amount of money over two years at a company interest of 3% per annum, Ahmed was paid £4,038. How much did he invest? And he says, give your answer to four significant figures there. Right, now the formula for company interest is A is equal to P into 1 plus R over 100 all raised to the power n there, where n is the, oh well, I define n, the a is the amount he realized at the end of the period, which is two years in this case, and p is the amount he invested, and r is the rate of interest, and this case is 3%, and then n is the number of years, yeah, period of investment. So if now substitute all these values, the values got there into this formula, we got that uh, 4,038 is equal to p, which we're looking for, uh, into 1 plus 3 over 100, all, rest, all squared. Okay, now this one becomes 1.03 because 3 over 100 is 0 0.03. Now 1 plus, 1 plus 0 0.03 becomes 1.03. So now we've got uh, 4,038 pounds is equal to 1 into 1.03 squared. If we now divide both sides by 1.03 squared, we end up with P is equal to 4,038 divided by 1.03 squared. So we end up with P is equal to uh, 3,806.20. But we're asked to give an answer to four significant figures. So that becomes 1, 2, 3, 4. That becomes uh, 3,806 pounds. And that's our answer. Uh, hopefully, you will subscribe, please subscribe and uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you again sometime. Bye bye now.